Welcome back to my channel, it's Sibyl and we're back at it again with another video of what people think I do versus what I actually do. So this time I decided to take it out of the health spectrum and go into all the spectrums and today we're going to be doing one with a chef, a very good friend of mine that I've known for a very long time and since like I was this high, this high is grade one high. <laughs> And I'm seeing him for the first time in 12 years. Um, his name is Julian. He has a wonderful, wonderful Instagram page called The Spice Assassin. I'll link it down below. You can go check out his delicious, delicious recipes. All right, guys, are you ready? Let's do it. Let's get into it. Um, I wonder what this, what this vegetable is, hey? Okay, Google, um, what's this? long green looking uh, vegetable is it a uh, zucchini hi ma'am oh yes hi sir um it's quite obvious that this is a cucumber um uh, how do you know are you a chef or something yes i am <gasps> oh my god where did you really? study <laughs> at hda oh i've never heard of them it's in randburg you should know of them, they're quite a good school. I'll look them up. What kind of food do you cook? <laughs> I actually cook mostly everything. I cook everything that I've learned. Mm -hmm. Still learning, mm -hmm. but definitely I know a few dishes. That's quite cool. Do you know how to make chicken ala king? Wow. Is it the best dish you came up with? Honestly, really? Chicken? Alakini? Yes, I do. I can teach you. <gasps> so, then, if you want to teach me, when can I have a taste of your food? Are you going to pay? Can you afford me? I can give you my details and we will set a date. <gasps> Thank you. Do you enjoy cooking for people? Why did I go study? <laughs> I do. Mm -hmm. It's tough at times, but at the end of the result, you're knowing that someone is enjoying your food, there's a smile on their face, full belly, job is done. Great. Oh my god. Have you ever like cut yourself for cooking? I've landed in the hospital, yes. You made what you are asking. I've cut myself a few times. <gasps> I've landed in the hospital as well, and it was for burning myself. So that was 10 times worse. Ah, so cutting is not the worst one that... It's just... Unless you cut a finger off, then yeah. It's definitely... If you're like, if you're a chef, right? Does yes. that mean you also cook at home? Once a year. A lot at work. Not at home, my darling. Mm -mm. Most chefs, well, from my point of view, I don't usually cook that much at home. Mm -hmm. Because I cook more at work. I'll maybe end up cooking about two times a month. And oh my god, I don't know if you like know her, but she's like my favorite. Have you ever heard of Siba? Duh. <laughs> she's on Food Network, like, hello. Yes, I have. <gasps> really? Yes. Of course, you have. She's like amazing. She isn't is she? big. She's <laughs> a big thing in the industry. Yes. How, how many celebrity chefs have you met? I've met a few mm -hmm. based in South Africa, mm -hmm. but the biggest chefs that I've met was the judges of Master Chef Australia. <gasps> yes, George. <laughs> and working with like all the food that you do, like how do you keep your jacket clean? Soap and water and the sunlights. I try very, very hard to make sure I have my apron on at all times, mm -hmm. but you never know what happens in a kitchen. Does whatever happened in the kitchen stay in the kitchen? All the time. <laughs> You're a chef, right? You should totally, totally meet my cousin. He's such a great cook. Why? Is he famous? <laughs> no, no, no. He's just a startup chef, but you'll love uh, him. Maybe we can link up and we'll try his dishes and I'll. Maybe I'll be honest, but yeah, I'll definitely Perfect. look up for that. 
do you have like a cookbook out? Not yet. Definitely working on the recipes. But hopefully in the next two years. It I does agree. take time, but we'll set a date for that. Of course, I'm looking forward to the date. I can't wait. Yes. <laughs> have you ever thought of um, opening up your own restaurant? But will you support me? I have about 10 different ideas mm -hmm. that I want South Africa to have because of so many things that we don't have as our very own country. Mm -hmm. We're more reliant on South African foods. Mm -hmm. So definitely bring the world into South Africa. Love that. I can't wait like, to experience it. What inspires you though to be a chef? Hey? Food. I love to eat and create food. What inspired me was the fact that my dad's father mm -hmm. or grandfather was a chef as well oh. and my mum, my granny and definitely watching all the cooking shows. What's your favourite cooking show? My favourite at the moment is definitely MasterChef. So working in the kitchen, running around and everything, are yes. your shoes comfortable? No. They are stainless steel cap boots now. I'm not talking on slippers. I don't have Uggs on my feet. I have bunions. <laughs> if that is what you're asking. <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> Definitely no. Really not? No. The steel caps in front of them. Ooh. That is for safety measures, mm -hmm. just in case something falls on your feet so you know there's no injury. Mm -hmm. But whoever starts wearing steel cap boots the first four days yeah you're gonna be killed oh. it's gonna be it's painful it's, oh. it's not for the brave it's not for the faint of heart mm. we'll see if they can last <laughs> okay so you know it doesn't get very hot in the kitchen well <laughs> ah. you know what they say <laughs> if you can't take the heat, heat stay out the, the kitchen. kitchen so it's true it's very true. <laughs> Not your normal at home, mm -hmm. listening to music, sipping on wine, you know, taking your 10 mm -hmm. hours to cook that one dish. In a professional kitchen, mm -hmm. it's all about communication, making sure you have prepped, you know your dishes, you know what goes with what, pairing with different wines with food. And what I will say, it's very like a three hour rush, mm -hmm. whereby time flies so fast. Which is, it's a very good adrenaline, mm -hmm. but you learn from it. Love. There will definitely be mistakes here and there, but you'll know for tomorrow. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. <laughs> so, with all that taking this heat in the kitchen, how many hours do you like work in a day? Well, six days a week. There will be days when you'll maybe have like seven hours, and there will be other days when you'll maybe after 15. <gasps> With I at die. least, with at least a two hour break. I die. But that two hour feels now more like 30 minutes. <laughs> so yeah. Let's be ready. Be like ready. your feet, your legs, your mindset, your senses. Mm -hmm. You need to be alert just in case something falls. That's why there's still caps. Definitely. And there you have it guys. This is my friend Julian, the Spice Assassin makes really 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 great recipes please do go check them out and yeah do you have anything to say julian follow <laughs> the recipes yes to this step. yes I they're can... good and delicious don't worry there are a few celebrities following me so it's legit Bye. You heard it from Chef Julian yourself. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching. If you did like this video, please do give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below and subscribe. Okay, thanks. Bye. Bye.